All right, uh, let's see, air rocket's launched up. So now we know the initial velocity of the air rocket. Uh, and then we want to know what's its um, velocity at a time of 3.20 seconds. And then greatest height and time in the air. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do, this is one separate problem. And then those other two are, are another separate problem. Okay, I can solve this one from the ground to 3.2 seconds. So let's do that, ground to 3.2 seconds. Right, so this thing's going to go up and down. Right now, presumably, you can look at the answer down there. It's 4.6 seconds, 4.67 seconds up and down. Right, so at 3.2 seconds, it actually will have, I guess, what reached the peak and it's on its way down. We should get a negative final velocity. Okay, so let's just work it out here. Uh, 3.2 seconds is our time, so that goes here for time. Our acceleration is negative 9.8. Our initial velocity is 22.9. And that's positive. It's going up, right? And then our final is we got to figure that out, right? I'm going to use no x. So vf is vi plus at. So vf is equal to 22.9 plus negative 9.8 times 3.2. All right, here we go. Are you ready for this? 22.9 plus negative 9.8 times 3.2, negative 8.46. Okay, so the fact that it's negative, that doesn't mean it's below us, and that's uh, meters per second, right? Sorry, didn't put the right units on there. Th that means that it's just moving down. Now, 8.46 means it's you know maybe right here, right? Okay, it's moving. That's a rectangular air rocket, right? It's moving down. I know that it hasn't hit the ground yet because when it hits the ground, it'll be going down at negative 22.9. And it's only going down at negative 8.46. So it's up here. It's moving down like that. Um, that's all we need to know. Okay, so I'm about to hit erase and do those last two questions. Okay, erasing now. All right, now let's do these guys. The greatest height, total time in the air. Okay. Um, that we're going to do by looking at this thing from there and there, right? What we're actually going to do is we're going to look at it from this spot to this spot, right? And, and when we figure out the time, the total time will be twice that. That'll be that much time up and that much time down. Um, then we'll also be able to figure out the greatest height, right? Okay, so let's see. Uh, acceleration, we know all the things we always know, right? So that's negative 9.8. Uh, the initial velocity is 22.9. Whoops. Right, and then the final at the top is zero because we're going to go from the ground to the top. Right now, why is that zero? Why is that final velocity zero? Well, if it's not zero, it's not at the top, is it? Right. All right. So let's see. Let's find uh, t and let's find x. Um, let's find x first simply because it asks for that. Right. So to find x, I'm going to use no t, which is this guy. Okay, here we go. Uh, 0 squared equals uh, 22.9 squared plus 2 times negative 9.8 times x, which is what we're trying to find, right? Okay. So, um, okay, here we go. 22.9 squared. 524.41, okay. So I'm going to put it on this side. I'm going to go negative 524. 0.41 equals, and then 2 times negative 9.8 is negative 19.6x. Okay, so what I did, I did two things at once. I squared that, put it on this side, made it negative. Okay. Uh, then the next thing I did was I multiplied that uh, 2 times negative 9.8. Right? Okay, so now I need to divide that by 19.6, or negative 19.6. And I'm getting that x is, uh, I get 26.7556, okay? So 26.8 is our, our uh, greatest height that it reaches, right? Okay, and now we want to figure out the time it takes to get to the top. I'm going to use this guy, vf is vi plus at, right? That becomes, uh, what, 0 equals 22.9. I always do that. 22.9 positive, right? 
uh, plus negative 9.8 times t, right? Okay, so let's see. Uh, I think what we do is we go negative 22.9 equals uh, negative 9.8 times t. And now we just divide that both by negative 9.8, right? 22.9 divided by 9.8. 2.3367, <laughs> right? Notice that it doesn't say what is the time to the top. It says total time in the air, right? Total time, right? So that means that it's going to spend, let's draw a little thing here, right? It's going to spend 2.33, sorry, 2.3367 up, and it's going to spend 2.3367 down, right? So I'm going to take that number and multiply by 2 to get the total time in the air. 4.67 seconds. <coughs> okay. So that's our total time in the air. That's uh, our greatest height. All right. So just be careful. Look at it. Sometimes it says, what is the time to the top? What is the total time in the air? So just be, be savvy. Either one. Either one will be asked of you. <laughs>